Hey there. Well, I seem to have pissed off a bunch of people in my last video because I've been pointing out Biden's cognitive decline. Well, some people seem to be assuming that I'm moving to the right because of it, and their assumptions couldn't be further from the truth. I've been pointing out Biden's cognitive decline since he was running for president. I mean, I think it's absurd for someone to look at Biden's current behavior and compare it to, to footage you see of Biden's behavior like 30 years ago. You, you can't tell me there's not a decline going on. Look, I wanted Bernie, but the DNC and mainstream media wouldn't have that. Especially not mainstream media. They felt threatened by some of Bernie's socialistic tendencies. Some people try to say that mainstream media is somehow hand-in-hand -hand with, like, the CCP or something. It's really weird that they're, they're somehow pushing for communism. It's just like, no, uh, our media is, they're there to make money at, at, at all costs. They don't care how much division they sow on both sides. You know, I wanted Bernie. I wanted Buttigieg. I wanted anyone but Biden as a Democratic candidate. You know, but we got what we got, and I held my nose and voted for Biden in the final election. Just like in 2016, I held my nose and voted for Hillary in the final election. I hate that all we seem to be stuck with are neoliberals, which aren't really on the left. Yeah, they're to the left of the Republicans, which I'm thankful for, but they're still not to the left of the political spectrum. But Biden is a terrible orator in his current state. Yes, he's friendly most of the time. He's like a friendly grandpa, right? Great grandpa. He doesn't try to start politically divisive conversations. He doesn't go out of his way to demonize the other side. I mean, unless they're pushing anti-vax bullshit or something. But he's just terrible at orating, even when he has a teleprompter. Obama and Reagan were probably the best orators of my lifetime. And to be fair, on a social level, Biden is a breath of fresh air when compared to what we had with Trump, you know, and what Trump did to this country on a social level. Trump gleefully burned up the lubricant that allows our society to get along. It's going to take a lot of work and many, many years to build up that lubricant again. We must learn how to care about the feelings of the other side, or we're just as bad as the people who don't care about our feelings. Both sides need to do this. And from what I've seen, both the left and the right get their feelings hurt just as easily. Sometimes the right gets hurt even easier because they've convinced themselves that they're so tough. It's just a veneer. But, you know, even though I think Biden is, is a breath of fresh air when it comes to the social side of things and, and being non-confrontational, it doesn't mean that I think he's a good leader. That doesn't mean I think he's the best person for the job. Many people that I've talked with on the left have agreed with me the notion that Biden might not even make it through his first term before he has to give the reins over to Kamala. This includes conversations of from before Biden became president, before he even won. I see nothing wrong with criticizing him. Now, if your argument is that, well, it, it gives credence to the right wing's arguments. And I'm like, well, sometimes arguments that come from a side are actually right. Just like sometimes they should consider some of the things that we say, you know? Sometimes they're right. Sometimes we're right. You know, I don't like Kamala, but at this point, I think I would rather see her leading the country than, than Biden. You can't lead a country via a teleprompter. I'm sorry that my saying this upsets some people. Again, this doesn't mean I'm suddenly moving to the right. Just saying.